Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this episode, we delve into the transformations of 20 celebrities of the 70s and 80s and their shocking look now. Once familiar faces that graced screens and stages, they now showcase shocking changes. Join us as we uncover their surprising journeys through time and explore the enigmatic allure of their present appearances. Let's go! Number 20. Angie Dickinson, renowned for her portrayal of Sergeant Leanne Pepper Anderson in the groundbreaking television series, Policewoman, captivated audiences with her stunning looks and confident demeanor during the 1970s. She embodied the epitome of glamour and sophistication, often seen sporting chic hairstyles and fashionable attire that perfectly complemented her elegant features. With her signature blonde hair and radiant smile, Dickinson became an iconic figure of the era, representing the modern, independent woman. As time progressed, Dickinson, like many individuals, experienced the natural effects of aging. The once youthful glow gradually gave way to subtle signs of aging, including fine lines and wrinkles, which prompted some fans to express surprise at her changing appearance. However, despite the inevitable passage of time, Dickinson's innate beauty continued to shine through, albeit with a newfound sense of maturity and grace. Number 19. Kent McCord rose to prominence for his portrayal of Officer Jim Reed in the popular television series, ADAM-12, which aired from 1968 to 1975. As Officer Reed, McCord became synonymous with the image of a dedicated and hardworking police officer, serving alongside his partner in the fictional Los Angeles Police Department. During the peak of his fame in the 70s, McCord was known for his clean-cut appearance, with his trademark mustache and neatly groomed hair. He embodied the quintessential image of a law enforcement officer of that era, earning him admiration from audiences worldwide. However, as time passed, McCord's appearance underwent noticeable changes. Like many actors, he faced the natural effects of aging, which altered his once youthful appearance. Additionally, he experimented with different styles, sometimes sporting a more rugged look compared to his earlier days on ADAM-12. Today, Kent McCord continues to be involved in the entertainment industry, albeit in a more behind-the-scenes capacity. While his physical appearance may have evolved over time, his contributions to the world of entertainment remain cherished by fans of classic television. Number 18. Maureen McCormick gained fame for her iconic role as Marsha Brady in the hit television series, The Brady Bunch, which aired from 1969 to 1974. As Marsha, McCormick epitomized the quintessential teenage girl of the 1970s, with her blonde hair, bright smile, and wholesome charm. During this period, she was considered one of the most recognizable faces on television. However, like many child stars, McCormick faced challenges as she transitioned into adulthood. She struggled with personal issues, including substance abuse, which took a toll on her physical appearance. Over the years, she experienced significant changes in her appearance, including weight fluctuations and aging, which altered her once youthful look. Today, Maureen McCormick leads a more private life away from the spotlight. She has worked on various projects in television and film but has primarily focused on her personal well-being. Despite the challenges she has faced, McCormick remains a beloved figure from the 70s and 80s, cherished for her contribution to television history as Marsha Brady. Number 17. Since you provided John Travolta instead of Kent McCord, I'll proceed with writing about John Travolta. John Travolta shot to stardom with his breakout role as Tony Manero in the iconic film Saturday Night Fever in 1977. His portrayal of the smooth, charismatic dancer captivated audiences worldwide, making him a symbol of the disco era. Travolta's electrifying performance and trademark white suit became synonymous with the late 1970s. During this period, 
Travolta's youthful charm, chiseled features, and suave demeanor made him a heartthrob and a fashion icon. However, as the decades passed, Travolta's appearance underwent noticeable changes. Despite his efforts to maintain his youthful look, including undergoing various cosmetic procedures, the effects of aging became increasingly evident. Today, John Travolta continues to be active in the entertainment industry, albeit with a more subdued public profile. He has embraced his mature appearance and focuses on roles that highlight his versatility as an actor, demonstrating that talent transcends age. Number 16. Carol Kane rose to prominence with her unforgettable portrayal of Simka Doblitz Gravas, the quirky wife of Latka Gravas, in the popular television series, Taxi, during the late 1970s and early 1980s. Her portrayal of Simka earned her two Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Kane's distinctive voice, wide eyes, and expressive face made her character instantly recognizable and beloved by audiences. During her heyday, Kane's appearance was characterized by her curly hair and unique fashion sense, reflecting the eclectic style of the era. Over the years, Carol Kane's appearance has evolved, but her talent and versatility remain constant. While she may not be as visible in mainstream media as she once was, she continues to work steadily in film, television, and theater, showcasing her range as an actress. Kane's ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles has earned her continued admiration from fans and critics alike. And you? If you still remember the image of the girl with curly blonde hair, feel free to leave a comment with the number one. Number 15. Meryl Streep, often hailed as one of the greatest actresses of her generation, first gained widespread recognition for her role in The Deer Hunter in 1978. Streep's ability to immerse herself fully into her characters, coupled with her unmatched versatility, quickly established her as a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood during the 1970s and 1980s. During this period, Streep's appearance varied greatly depending on the roles she undertook. From the determined and passionate union activist Karen Silkwood in Silkwood in 1983 to the elegant and sophisticated Joanna Kramer in Kramer vs. Kramer, Streep effortlessly transformed her appearance to suit each character. As the years went by, Streep's appearance matured gracefully, reflecting her own evolution as an actress and a person. While she may no longer possess the youthful charm of her early career, Streep's talent remains as captivating as ever. She continues to take on challenging roles across a wide range of genres, earning critical acclaim and accolades for her performances. Her impact on the industry is undeniable, and her legacy will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. Number 14, Peter Ostrom gained fame for his role as Charlie Bucket in the beloved film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, in 1971. His portrayal of the poor but kind-hearted boy who wins a golden ticket to tour Willy Wonka's mysterious chocolate factory captivated audiences around the world. Ostrom's innocent charm and wide-eyed wonder perfectly captured the essence of the character, making him a memorable part of cinematic history. During the peak of his fame in the 1970s, Ostrom was known for his boyish looks and tousled hair, which added to his appeal as a relatable child actor. However, after Willy Wonka, Ostrom made the decision to step away from acting and pursue a career in veterinary medicine. Today, Peter Ostrom leads a private life away from the spotlight. He has found fulfillment in his career as a veterinarian, specializing in large animals, such as horses and cows. While he may no longer be in the public eye, Ostrom's role as Charlie Bucket continues to hold a special place in the hearts of fans of the classic film. Number 13. Charlotte Rampling rose to prominence as a versatile actress with a remarkable ability to portray complex and enigmatic characters. 
One of her most iconic roles came in the film, The Night Porter, in 1974, where she played a Holocaust survivor entangled in a twisted relationship with a former Nazi officer, during the 1970s and 1980s, Rampling captivated audiences with her striking beauty, captivating gaze, and effortless elegance. Her distinctive features and magnetic presence made her a sought-after actress in both European and Hollywood cinema. As the years passed, Rampling's appearance evolved gracefully, maintaining her allure and sophistication. While she embraced the natural process of aging, her charisma and talent continued to shine through in her performances. Her enduring legacy as an actress of unparalleled talent and depth ensures her place in cinematic history for generations to come. Number 12. Parker Stevenson gained widespread recognition for his role as Frank Hardy in the television series, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, which aired from 1977 to 1979. As one half of the dynamic detective duo, Stevenson portrayed Frank Hardy with charm and charisma, captivating audiences with his adventurous spirit and quick wit. During his heyday, Stevenson was known for his classic handsome features, including his chiseled jawline and piercing blue eyes, which made him a favorite among fans of the show. As the years passed, Stevenson's appearance matured gracefully, but he maintained his timeless appeal. While he may not be as prominent in the entertainment industry today, his contributions to television during the 1970s continue to be fondly remembered by fans of The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries. Outside of acting, Stevenson has pursued various interests and endeavors, including a career in photography and environmental activism. Despite stepping away from the spotlight, he remains respected for his past work and continues to be admired by fans for his contributions to television and entertainment. If you still remember this fascinating detective, please comment number one. Number 11. Julie Christie, born in India, rose to fame through her iconic role as Lara Antipova in the 1965 classic, Dr. Zhivago. During the 70s and 80s, Christie's ethereal beauty and enigmatic aura captivated audiences worldwide. Her mesmerizing presence on screen, paired with her distinct features and natural elegance, made her a symbol of cinematic beauty. However, over the years, Christie's appearance has undergone noticeable changes. Like many aging celebrities, she has embraced the natural aging process, opting for a more understated look. Gone are the youthful radiance and smooth complexion of her earlier years, replaced by the graceful lines and wisdom that come with age. Despite the physical changes, Christie remains active in the industry, albeit more selectively. She continues to lend her talent to meaningful projects, focusing on roles that resonate with her values and beliefs. Beyond her career, she leads a private life, away from the spotlight, finding solace in simple pleasures and personal pursuits. Number 10. Terry Garr gained widespread recognition for her role as Inga in the 1974 cult classic, Young Frankenstein. With her radiant smile, expressive eyes, and distinctive charm, Gar became a beloved figure in the entertainment industry during the 1970s and 1980s. Her natural beauty and comedic talent contributed to her iconic status, earning her numerous accolades and nominations. During her heyday, Gar was known for her youthful appearance and vivacious energy. Her signature tousled hair and infectious laughter left a lasting impression on audiences, solidifying her status as a Hollywood sweetheart. However, as time passed, Gar's appearance underwent noticeable changes. Like many individuals, she faced health challenges, including a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis in the late 1990s. Despite the physical toll of her condition, Gar has remained resilient, maintaining her positive spirit and determination. Today, Terry Gar continues to inspire audiences with her enduring talent and unwavering resilience. Though her physical appearance may have evolved over the years, her indomitable spirit and contributions to the entertainment industry remain timeless.
Number 9. Gil Gerard gained prominence for his portrayal of Captain William Buck Rogers in the science fiction television series Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, which aired from 1979 to 1981. As the titular character, Gerard embodied the epitome of a futuristic hero, captivating audiences with his charm, wit, and dashing good looks. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, Gerard's ruggedly handsome appearance and athletic physique made him a heartthrob among viewers, however, like many actors of his generation, Gerard's appearance has undergone changes over the years. The passage of time has softened his features, lending a more mature and distinguished air to his persona. Despite the inevitable effects of aging, Gerard maintains a dignified presence, reflecting his enduring status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Number 8. Robert Redford, born in 1936, rose to prominence with his iconic role in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969. However, it was his portrayal of the ruggedly handsome Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby in 1974 that solidified his status as a Hollywood heartthrob. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Redford's chiseled features and charismatic presence captivated audiences worldwide. Over the years, Redford's appearance has naturally undergone changes. Like many aging celebrities, he has embraced his wrinkles and gray hair, transitioning from his youthful matinee idol image to a more distinguished and seasoned look. Despite these changes, Redford continues to exude a magnetic charm that endears him to fans. Currently, Redford leads a quieter life, focusing more on his environmental activism and philanthropic endeavors than on his acting career. He has also ventured into directing and founded the Sundance Institute and Film Festival, leaving an indelible mark on both the entertainment industry and environmental advocacy. Number 7. Morgan Fairchild, born in 1950, gained fame for her role as Jenna Wade in the hit television series, Dallas. However, it was her stunning beauty and captivating presence that truly made her a standout figure of the 70s and 80s. With her signature blonde hair, sultry voice, and glamorous style, Fairchild epitomized the quintessential Hollywood starlet of her era. During her heyday, Fairchild was renowned for her flawless complexion, piercing blue eyes, and radiant smile. She often graced the covers of magazines and became a fashion icon, setting trends with her elegant attire and sophisticated allure. Whether on screen or off, she exuded an aura of sophistication and allure that captivated audiences worldwide. As time has passed, Fairchild's appearance has evolved gracefully. While she maintains her elegance and poise, her features have acquired a more mature refinement, reflecting her journey through life's experiences. Despite the natural effects of aging, Fairchild continues to exude confidence and charisma, remaining a timeless symbol of beauty and grace. If the image of the alluring Morgan Fairchild is still vivid in your mind, please leave a comment with the number one. Number 6. James Brolin, born in 1940, became a household name through his role as Dr. Stephen Kiley in the popular medical drama series, Marcus Welby, M.D., during the early 1970s. However, it was his portrayal of the ruggedly charming Tom Logan in the 1979 film, The Amityville Horror, that cemented his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Brolin was celebrated for his striking good looks, often characterized by his strong jawline, piercing eyes, and tousled hair, as time has passed. James Brolin's appearance has naturally undergone changes. Like many aging actors, he has embraced his mature features, including the appearance of wrinkles and graying hair. Despite these changes, Brolin maintains a distinguished and dignified presence, reflecting the wisdom and experience accumulated over the years.
Number 5. Jodie Foster rose to prominence with her iconic role as a young in the 1976 film, Taxi Driver. This role not only earned her critical acclaim but also solidified her status as one of Hollywood's most promising young talents. During the peak of her fame in the late 70s and 80s, Foster was recognized for her youthful charm and natural beauty, often portraying strong and independent characters on screen. However, over the years, Foster's appearance has undergone significant changes. This transformation can be attributed to various factors, including the natural aging process, lifestyle choices, and perhaps even cosmetic enhancements. Despite these changes, Foster's talent and dedication to her craft remain undeniable. In her present life, Jodie Foster remains active in the film industry, both as an actress and a director. She has transitioned into more mature roles and continues to challenge herself with diverse projects, earning accolades for her work behind and in front of the camera. Number 4. Melissa Sue Anderson gained fame for her portrayal of Mary Ingalls on the hit television series, Little House on the Prairie. Her role as the responsible and kind-hearted older sister endeared her to audiences worldwide during the show's run in the 1970s and 1980s. Anderson's fresh-faced appearance and wholesome charm made her a beloved figure among viewers, and her character became an iconic part of television history. In recent years, Anderson's appearance has naturally evolved reflecting the passage of time and the realities of aging. Like many former child stars, she has experienced changes in her physical appearance as she has grown older. Despite these changes, Anderson continues to be remembered fondly by fans for her contributions to the entertainment industry. The public's reaction to Anderson's transformation has been one of nostalgia mixed with curiosity about her life beyond the spotlight. Currently, Melissa Sue Anderson leads a relatively private life away from the glare of Hollywood. She has pursued interests outside of acting and focuses on spending time with her family, enjoying a quieter existence compared to her years in the spotlight. Number 3. Barry Williams became a household name for his portrayal of Greg Brady on the classic sitcom, The Brady Bunch. As the eldest son in the blended Brady family, Williams charmed audiences with his good looks and easygoing demeanor throughout the show's original run in the late 60s and early 70s. His role as Greg Brady remains one of the most iconic and enduring in television history, solidifying his status as a teen heartthrob of his era. Over time, Barry Williams, like many of his fellow child stars, experienced changes in his appearance as he transitioned into adulthood. The passing years brought with them natural aging processes, which inevitably altered his physical appearance. However, Williams has remained active in the entertainment industry, participating in various Brady Bunch reunions and spin-offs, which has allowed fans to catch glimpses of his evolving look. Presently, Barry Williams maintains a relatively low-key lifestyle, balancing his professional endeavors with personal interests. He continues to make occasional appearances in television and film projects, while also enjoying time with his family and pursuing other passions outside of acting. Number 2. Susan Olsen gained fame for her role as Cindy Brady, the youngest daughter in the beloved sitcom, The Brady Bunch. Her portrayal of the adorable and mischievous Cindy endeared her to audiences during the show's original run in the late 60s and early 70s. Olsen's youthful charm and bright personality made her a fan favorite, and her character became an integral part of the Brady family dynamic. In more recent years, Susan Olsen's appearance has naturally changed, reflecting the passage of time and the realities of growing older. Like many former child stars, she has experienced the effects of aging, which have inevitably altered her physical appearance. However, Olsen has remained connected to her Brady Bunch roots, participating in cast reunions and events that allow fans to reminisce about the iconic show. The public's reaction to Susan Olsen's evolving appearance has been largely supportive, with many fans expressing fondness for her contributions to television history. While some may nostalgically recall her days as Cindy Brady, others admire her resilience and continued involvement in the entertainment industry.
Number 1. Gregory Harrison gained widespread recognition for his role as Dr. George Alonzo Gonzo, Gates in the hit television series, Trapper John, M.D. His portrayal of the charming and compassionate surgeon endeared him to audiences during the show's successful run in the late 70s and early 80s. Harrison's rugged good looks and charismatic presence made him a heartthrob of the era, earning him a dedicated fan following. In recent years, Gregory Harrison's appearance has naturally evolved, reflecting the passage of time and the effects of aging. Like many actors, he has experienced changes in his physical appearance as he has grown older, but he continues to maintain his distinctive charm and charisma. Presently, Gregory Harrison remains active in the entertainment industry, appearing in various television shows, films, and stage productions. He continues to captivate audiences with his talent and versatility, proving himself as a timeless and enduring figure in Hollywood. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the transformations of iconic celebrities, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more captivating content. Your support helps us continue bringing you fascinating insights into the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching.